When it comes to a car that does it all, there really is only one choice. In the past, people have said Foresters, people have talked about Golfs, but there is only one choice. You know it, I know it, it's the Volkswagen Up. It is the one car that has redefined a generation of car lovers all over the world. It is the enthusiast choice for both performance, comfort, practicality, and technological advancements in cars. Powered by three cylinder, one litre, front wheel drive, nothing in it that you don't need, only the meat. It's like a burger with no bread, no lettuce, no mayo, it's just the meat. All meat, totally not discreet. No class. And so in this episode, my friend Martin here reckons that this is not the best car that you can get for $7,000, which is what I bought it for. He reckons that there's a better choice. I'm going to prove him wrong and whoop his ass. As you've heard my friend say, Volkswagen up! Volkswagen up! Volkswagen up! Massive fan Volkswagen boy. up! The ultimate Volkswagen up fan It is the I ultimate Volkswagen quite up car. quite understand, but maybe you don't need to understand. But he did say it's the best value car you can get for about seven grand. It is. There's um, no better car that you can get in class. this class. I am telling you right now that the car I have brought with me, which might look a little bit familiar, is actually the best car you can get in that class, which is, of course, oh, a Daihatsu Kore. Sior, Mira, whatever you want to call it. This is an L700. The car that this started is a it one all. One liter, three cylinder manual. This particular one has our comp tires on it, a massive brake conversion from a Syrian, and it's red. And red's always faster, as we always know. So it is one of my favorite cars to drive in the whole world. Don't know why, they're just awesome. Martin, let me get this straight. You're trying to tell me we've got two front wheel drive nuggets, both manual, both one liter, both three cylinder, yep. and yours. Let's be honest, the UP is the spiritual successor to this nugget. I love this car. This is the car that started Mighty Car Mods, people, 14 years ago. Red nugget, yep. how to pimp your car for $500. But times have moved on. Technology <laughs> has changed. <laughs> no. And now, this is, this is the nugget that you want to dip in your dipping sauce. Let's have a quick look at the UP, then a quick look at that, which I love. I know, I'm torn. this must be hard for you. I know. <laughs> then we'll go for a drive and then and then you'll see what's going to happen I'll because it's really, it's really clear. We're down here at the racetrack. It's, you can argue that's better for shopping, that's better for shopping. You can't argue any of the practicalities. They're the same. This is about which car is going to be the best car to take to the track on the weekend. And the answer is one, two, three, up. My 2012 VW Up is a city car that won Top Gear's Small Car of the Year in 2011. While this is the standard model that we got in Australia, Europe saw a proper one called the UP GTI with a turbo engine and sporty seats. The interior is super basic, but it's comfortable, and the one litre engine does everything it has to do to punch out around four and a half goat powers. But where it really shines is the fun ability. See, the Daihatsu has all of that, but it also has proper JDM street cred, even though this one was Australian delivered. The car's also powered by a one litre three cylinder engine, but has a bunch of mods including coilovers, R comp tyres, a big brake kit, and a custom exhaust. When it comes to outright coolness and what you'd want to take to a car meet or a weekend track day, the Daihatsu wins without a doubt. It is no secret that we are fans of this particular model of car, an L700 Daihatsu Kyore, Mira, Sior, whatever you want to call it. Um, these were made in the late 90s to the early 2000s. The following model was the one that I had before he sold it. Um, but this one's particularly special because it's the same colour as our original one. This one has a Syrian GTI brake conversion. It's also got uh, R comp tyres on it and otherwise mostly stock except for an exhaust. So no other fancy stuff going on, no much, not much particular extra power. That does feel a bit more pokey than ones I've driven in the past. Um, these are real popular at the time in Japan just for day-to-day -day transport, although in Japan they were 660 or 600cc three-cylinder and a lot of them were turbo. You can put the turbo kits on this, which is why it's a cool little car, um, and then just put some engine management and then you've got a bit of extra power, but they are just mad little nuggets and they've actually gone up in value. It wasn't long ago you were seeing these for sale for like, you know, a couple hundred bucks, thousand bucks, and now it's something like this, $7,000. When it's this well sorted and everything works and it's got some nice little mods and extras on it because they're sort of becoming I don't know, a bit niche, a bit fun, a bit fashionable, and in today's times, they use absolutely no fuel. I think I've got the weight advantage over the Volkswagen up. I think it's lighter. I think my tires are gonna help me. I think the big brakes are gonna help me. That thing is modern and surprisingly quick. Um, it did surprise me when we road tripped it, so today will be no different, but I'm keen to find out. Now it's time to jump on board the way more modern Volkswagen up. 
I do love both of these cars, but I think the Volkswagen's gonna have the edge on the track today. It's no secret by now that I am a massive fan of the Volkswagen Up. I know it's not a car that is really taken that seriously when it comes to performance. You just have to try one. People who have tried them really love them. People who haven't, they just don't get it. Maybe they don't get it because they think they're not that good. You've got to adjust your relative perception of what you think performance is and then you can expose the true potential of the fun that is the Volkswagen Up. Now, while I don't have all of the fancy brakes and all of the fancy suspension and stuff that the little red Daihatsu has, what I do have is a bit more technology on my side. This car is probably 10 years newer uh, and it feels it as well. And this car was designed not only to do runabouts, you know, to the shops and pick up things like that, but also to go on the Autobahn at high speeds. Speed, people. That's what we're here for. We're here for high speed and, <laughs> and performance. And high speed and performance is what Up's middle name is. So I know that Marty's gonna try, and it is a tricky battle because the little red Daihatsu, that is the car that started it all, and I have a lot to be grateful for. But when it comes to the pure driving experience, this is the successor. This is the young daddy, and that is the grandpa. And so eventually, grandpa, you know, he wants to stretch his legs, but if he stretches them too much, he's gonna break his legs. Man, I got a lot of love for the Daihatsu. And it's not just about me, it's not just about you. My up is awesome and your car's poo. And I hope that you don't go as fast as I do. <laughs> um, maybe you should just give up before you even start. No, no, it's gonna be good, man. This, this is actually scientific testing. This is important consumer advice, mate. Is it? Seven grand and you want a nugget. This is important consumer advice. Which is gonna be quick around the track? That's what we need to know today, mate. Can't buy either of these cars new, so I don't know how much consumer advice. I just remember I've got to turn my... That's off. Okay, Martin. Martin, I want you to win, but I'm not gonna let you win. Okay, good. All right. Appreciate it. All right, here we go. You wanna honk it in? Yep. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh, it's a drag race up the straight. I've got a taco. Oh, he's fast. He's actually got some go. It's gonna come down to the corners, I think. Oh, no, he's in front of me in the corner. <laughs> oh. I'm on the inside. I'm on the inside, watch out. I forgot how to drive manual. <laughs> oh, I've got some wheel spin, dude. That's how much power I got. I got, oh, I got a lot of grip actually, more than I thought. Here we go. Oh, it's a, it's a fast little, there's a fella by the rabbit, almost hit a rabbit. All right, now you're pulling away though. Yeah, I know, but you got commitment to this track, dude. You know what's up. I, I've seen you drive here very fast, so. Um, I got so, whoa. <laughs> wow, that was hectic. That was hectic. <laughs> Lift off oversteer much? I think I think that means you win actually in, in the real world. Does it? Well, yeah, because you would have would have been all over, mate. But I appreciate you stopping and not running into me because that would suck. Martin, I suggest what we do is we start again, and I, I will go on the inside. Sure, sounds good. That was sketchy, man, but well done. Thank you. Well, I'm glad he didn't crash it because that would have been a waste of a mad little Daihatsu. I'm going to blame my cold R-Comp tyres, everyone. <laughs> All right, are you ready? I'm ready. You going to honk it? World's most exhilarating drag race. Come on, little car. Come on, little car. All right, come on, little up. Do what you do, which is drive fast. Let's go. It's pretty good, man. It's going to be challenging to overtake you, I'm not going to lie. Oh, it's got good brakes though. Gee, it's got good brakes, this thing. Alrighty, alrighty, let's go, let's go. There's not going to be much in this, mate. I'm telling you right now, there's not going to be much in it. Oh, my car is so slow. <laughs> oh, come 
on Daihatsu. Oh, it's sticking. It's sticking. I was about to say I'm pulling away, but I'm actually not pulling away at all. I don't think it helps that we go through a bunch of water right before like the tightest, hecticest corner. Martin, I'm having fun, mate. So am I. This is great. This, this is challenging though. Oh, the back comes around in this thing. It just oversteers. That's hectic. I mean, it's good, I guess. I'm not used to it. Well, I hate to say it, mate, but you are actually winning. <laughs> well, give it some time. <laughs> I really also don't want to crash this little thing, it's just too good. Well, that's one way of saying I'm not winning. Oh, locked up the brakes. Are you using your brakes? <laughs> I kind of have to. Dude, the up's got it. The up's way faster than you think it is. Oh, just hanging on, foot flat. Oh, it really does want to oversteer this thing, it's hectic. It's crazy for a little one litre front wheel drive thing, isn't it? It is, it badly wants to oversteer. I'm really not used to it. it. Just doesn't drive like a little front wheel drive thing. Like down this corner, the back, I feel the back coming around, coming around. I'm hitting water, which doesn't help. At least you've got a lot of time to think about stuff on the straight, right? Yeah, that's actually true. I was thinking about that. It's like if you drive some past cars around here, then this actually means that you, you do have some time to have a little relaxing drive on the track without it being super high intensity. That said, I'm sweating out of every hole. My arms are totally crossed over. Is it a lot of understeer going on for you or not really? No, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm just redlining every gear and just punching it. I'm starting to learn the car a bit. Like it doesn't want quite as much speed. Like it's actually got more acceleration out of these corners than I give it credit for. And it's got a lot of brakes, like heaps, like it just stops crazy good. But, I, but I'm not timing it very well up to the corners. That's just a lack of skill, if anything. But it's getting quicker too. I can feel the tires are starting to actually grip now when I accelerate out of the corners. It's sweaty work though. All right, I'm gonna call that round one to the up. Yeah, the up's got it, mate, completely. And now that your car's all warmed up, I suggest we go again. Cause I think your car is just starting to get all of its bit juiced up all getting up to heat i think now we go again and this is the real deal okay if you like like all overpowered cars marty's daihatsu uh is a little bit more of a handle uh, a bit, bit more of a handful to drive but now it's all warmed up and it is ready to go the brakes are warmed up the tires are warmed up now we're ready now we're ready to rumble so are you ready to go mate i am mate i think i'm good to go i've got warm tires and warm brakes and not much more driving skill than five minutes ago but let's see how we go Right, here we go, and come on little up, all the way to the red line, all the way, oh he's coming up on the inside, which seems like a dangerous place to be. I saw you use the brakes. Oh, sorry. Come on, little Daihatsu. I don't have the power, definitely not. Like, that's full red line, but it's not getting anywhere near you. I think this might actually have less power than my old Daihatsu. Nah, dude, I, I can't catch you. Leg legitimately, that thing is faster, man. Legitimately quicker. Well, Martin, I reckon we can call this one then. Uh, call it for the up uh, until further notice. <laughs> yeah, sorry little Daihatsu. If you had any other three-cylinder Daihatsu here today, I would race you, like if you had one. But being that you don't, I guess that's game over. But if you did, I would be up for a battle, just saying. But it's got to be three-cylinder manual and Daihatsu. Are you ever going to learn? What? As if I wouldn't bring a three-cylinder Daihatsu that would chop the shit out of any car. I'll race you for pinks, I don't give a f- <laughs> Well, no, don't say it, you can't take it back. What? Just, just stop, just don't. It's a really bad idea what you're about to say. What I'm saying is, if you bring your other Daihatsu down here, I'll chop the shit out of that as well. I don't care, man. It's like, it'll dominate any three-cylinder car. Any Daihatsu, anyway. Bring your shit box, off he goes. Off he goes. I'm so confident in my car, I just, I don't have to worry. You all know what's coming. You know what's coming. Oh.
Oh shit. <laughs>